This is a fly I'm going to be tying. This is a sea trout fly. Uh, it's called the uh, the Shannon's Terror. Now it's basically like a small bait type fish, uh, which swims really well, and uh, it's just a proven colour uh, on the the Ithan. So I'm going to be tying this. Now hook I'm using is this one here. Now it's a slinger hook size six from this company here, Airex. Uh, if I pronounced that correctly. Uh, it's a nice light wire hook, good gape on it, as you can see, and it's a straight eye. Now, thread, uni thread, in this case 8 -o. You could go with the 6 if you wish. Uh, slightly stronger, uh, or thicker, but 8 is fine. So first thing I'm going to do is paste the thread down, I've waxed my thread. I'm just going to wind the thread until I'm in line with the point of the hook. You could stop shorter if you wish, uh, but I'm going to stop in line with the point. Now the tail is too white and a grizzle. Now you can put them all on together, it's up to yourself. Uh, you can put them on individually. To get the measure, it's up to yourself. I'll, I'll put them on individually just to show you. Now, you're wondering why I'm only putting one on. It's, it's for the colour in the centre more than anything and not making it too bulky. Uh, but you can put two on if you wish. Uh, length is just basically getting a nice balance. It's to your own eye and the size of the bait fish that you're trying to represent. Or sand deal even. So I'm basically going to tie this straight on the top. Leaving it as uh, the way it's the now. And then I'm going to offer the white full length on this side. Pinch and loop. And on your side as well. So just make sure you're the light length. They will sit for you. Just take your time. Just slightly short with this one. There we are. And once you're happy you can then catch it in. Three or four turns. Just check. Check the length. Check where they are. That's fine. The hackles I'm actually using are these. Now you've got, this is a, a company here. It's called Ban Valley Flies. Uh, the genetic hackles come in a wee small pack like this. Uh, you can easily get a few flies out of it. So, once we're happy, which because it looks okay to me, sitting the way I want, I can then trim the full length of the body. And then tidy up, just take the thread up and make sure it's well tied in. Come back down. It's fine. Now for the flash, you could do this, I'm going to be using a mirror flash. This one here, this is a blue mirror flash, you could use the pearl. Just a single strand. Either side of the tail. One my side. So take the thread up a wee bit. Full length. Fold it down your side. Encourage the flash to lay along the side. Trim. Now we're ready for the body. Now the body is going to be two frets, two types of frets. This one here. This is uh, the ice blue and the blob style, the 15 mil. And this one's polar UV and snow white, as you can see, and it's quite a longer fibre. Now, like in two thirds of the body is the blue, so the first thing I do is bear some of the coat, just remove the coat, and then tie it in. Nice and tight. And I wind it up. Then what I like to do is make sure the fibre is laying towards the back and then just wind it up nice and tight, make sure it is really tight. Just come round, give the fly a bit of body. There you go. And what I like to do is try and 
make sure that I can open it so that I can get the thread into the core without catching too much of the fibre. Make sure there's a few turns in there. Trim away. Wax my salt, or my thread, sorry. And then a nice base of thread down there ready to tie in with longer fruits. See how it's sitting? Looks fine. So again, I've got a length here for the blue. Just going to catch this on the side. Nice and tight. Make sure it's secure. And then, much that we did with the bob fits, we stroke back the fibre. And just work our way up. Nice and tight. So it's two thirds blue, one third white. And catch it in. Make sure you get a few turns in, making sure it's not going to pull back. Relax. Nice piece of thread down. That's uh, fine. Now for a white hen hackle. Get one line here. Nicely, nice and white hen. Then we tie this in by the tip. So, make sure it's tied in and folded back so that it doesn't pull out. There's a tip there, I can break that off. You fold in the hackle, just run your scissors down the side. And the leading edge in this case, so that it just turns over a wee bit easier. Don't always have to do that, I just wind straight on most times, but you have a big hackle like this, it's easy to do this. Show you enough hackle there, don't be shy. Again, we can do 90 degree, bring the thread up beside the hackle, 90 degree bend into it. And as you can see how it opens out, it takes the fibres away so that you get the thread into the stem. And that makes it less, it's less bulky, but it ties in far better. Tidy this area up. There we are. Now, you could either, in this case, there's, I'm putting jungle cock on, or you could use the adhesive eyes. Different ways are actually tying it. So, we just get two medium sized jungle cock eyes. Don't be shy. Just gonna pull back the fibres. I don't need to come in to stay either side. Just hold them. You can put them on individually if you wish, but I like to do it together. Three or four turns just to get them to sit. You can always go back at this point. Happy with the position, just double check. Uh, maybe down a wee bit on your side, so I'm just going to go back it's just a wee bit high. If you're not happy with the fly, always go back. There we go. And then, secure. I like to make sure that they don't pull out. So I tuck back the waist ends. Come in front with the thread and build up from the head, from the eye, sorry. With the thread. Make sure they're secure. And then what we can do is we can break off. Very easy just to snap them. There we are. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually tie off the white thread. And use a little bright floss just to colour the head up. You could use a varnish if you want. Just going to turn this wee fibre here. There's always one. So what I've got here is the uh, Glow Bright Floss. This is right, number five, if you can see it. It's a Glow Bright Fluorescent Floss. And it's an orangey red. 
So really bright. So what I'm doing is just building the head up with the floss, get a bit of colour. Oops, missed that. Just cut this away. I usually like to trim this away or cut it away just before I get to the top and make sure there's plenty of colour there. It's going to go down and come back up. Let's check. And do it again. What a nice aiming point. And when you're happy, just give it a finish, just as you do in a normal thread. Oops, that broke. There we are, there's the end there. Just gonna trim this away. And there we are. And all I like to do is, you could use a resin or whatever, I'm just going to use, uh, in this case this is just some super glue. So set it really hard. Hard and fast, so it's nice and bright. And then you can either a resin over the top, a clear resin, or a couple of coats of varnishes I would probably do. And there we are. And that's uh, Shannon's Terra. Yeah, nice pattern. Very good sea trout fly in the eye thing, so. And uh, the improving colour for a friend of mine. And this is why I'm tying this. This is for a friend. So I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, if you do enjoy the videos, please subscribe.